morning it is a new day i am having breakfast and then we are gonna head out i have a doctor's appointment this morning and then it's monday so the toronto trip tri <laughs> the toronto christmas market isn't gonna be open but we're probably still gonna check out the distillery district just so that we can say that we were there this year hello i'm in the car i'm actually getting a car wash right now um, this is something I regularly have to do because I commute a lot and it's winter. So also I have to drop my car off to um, get service done. So I actually take it, I don't take it to the dealership anymore because one, the dealership is super overpriced and two, my car is out of factory warranty. So I don't feel it necessary to waste money there. <laughs> so I take it to another shop and they're super nice. Um, they actually do specialize in I guess luxury vehicles but yeah so I'm gonna do that the reason I'm telling you all this is because my dad always told me to get a car wash um, or make sure my car is clean before I go to a mechanic because they are more apt to treat your car I wouldn't say nicely but they're more apt to be gentle with your car if they know you you know obviously keep it tidy and nice and plus mechanics have to work on your vehicle so you want it to be as clean on the exterior as possible. Anyway, yeah, so that's why I'm getting a car wash and that's all I got going on right now. Actually, I'm mildly devastated because I can't find the other pair to this glove. I just used it yesterday when I walked to the gym and I can't find the other half. I am the worst for losing gloves. I always lose a pair and yeah, I'm really upset that I lost it. It even has this magnet. I think I showed it last year, but it has this magnet so that, um, they attach to each other so I don't know what happened to the other pair I am like a hundred percent certain that I was wearing both pairs of gloves on my walk back so it must be in my house somewhere because I didn't go anywhere else yesterday I was running late this morning as per usual so I didn't get a chance to actually search for them but yeah pretty upset about that I'm using the Generation G lipstick from Glossier I like this. I didn't like it the first day that I wore it, but I like it now. Honestly, the key is to make sure your lips are fairly hydrated. Otherwise, it really tugs because of the formulation. It's not meant to be a super um, creamy, full pigment lipstick. So it has a very dry stain feel to it, which if your lips are dry, will really mess it up. Okay, we just dropped my car off and I found the other missing glove it actually was in Bo's car so I must have left it and I must not have worn both pairs yesterday even though in my mind I thought I did because why would I wear gloves when I was outside anyway very happy <laughs> that I have not lost these yet I think these are the longest tenured gloves that I've owned update so it turns out were not in this vehicle all weekend for some reason I thought we were because why else would my one glove be in the Bo's car and I guess the Bo accidentally grabbed one of the pairs when he grabbed his gloves even though I was very clear asking hey have you seen this and he was all like no how come you lost another glove this is the face of someone who's guilty hey I just finished my doctor's appointment and it happens to be close to the flagship Muji on Dundas. So we're checking it out now. Okay, we are down at the distillery district now. Very quiet because again, the Toronto Christmas Market isn't open, but we're gonna still check out what to check. It's very quiet without all of the stalls. Still festive though. Kind of our tradition to go here and get a green tea latte. Okay, 
Okay, so we are heading for lunch now and we had our green tea latte. We took our annual photo in front of the Christmas tree and now we're leaving. We are home and I got something in the mail that I want to show you guys. So a couple of days ago in one of my Vlogmas videos, I posted, I talked about uh, beauty things that I wanted to pick up or things that are on my wish list. One of them was the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow. And I posted that video and then later that day or maybe the next day, I was on Instagram and I saw that um, they were actually bringing that eyeshadow and blush back. So I managed to pick up the eyeshadow palette, the quad, and I wanted to show it to you guys. I was going to get the duo or the kit of the blush and the eyeshadow, but I was just going through my eyeshadows the other day and I really don't need any more blushes in my life, but eyeshadow palettes is something I am not currently hoarding, so I figured this one would be an acceptable purchase. Uh, apparently they are bringing it back in 2019 and they're going to be part of the permanent collection, but this is just like a limited run before they make it permanent. So super excited. I actually did not get like a shipping confirmation. So I was surprised to see it on my doorstep today. So this is, this is my actually first eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I do have the face palette, which has a few eyeshadows, but this is the first quad that I purchased from, from her brand. And oh my gosh, these shadows are super pretty. So this is what it looks like. Super pretty some warm tone pinky um, eyeshadows. I actually don't have a lot of pinky toned eyeshadows in my collection. I'm super excited about this. I'll probably wear this all this week because I'm excited to try these shadows out and to wear them. They're super pretty. I also got one of two of the Glossier parcels that I'm expecting. I placed two other orders after the boxing, or sorry, the Black Friday sale. I have already opened this up, and I gotta say, the more I order from Glossier, I guess maybe during this run, the less exciting the unboxings get, because when I open this up, and granted I paid full price for all of these things, um, I got the bag. Um, I got a summer 2018 sticker, so it was not even the um, winter sticker that, uh, they're actually handing out. Maybe they ran out of these, so they put this sticker in it. And I also did not receive any of these um, gift tags or any of the regular stickers that they usually send out. But what I did pick up is two more of the Generation G lipsticks. So I picked up um, Crush and Zip. These two are definitely up my alley. So one, like I said, is Crush, which is more of, I don't know if we call this like a raspberry shade. So really pretty. And the other one is Zip, which is more of a poppy shade. So it's red. So you can see kind of the difference. Of course, this color is not exactly what shows up on your lips because these are super sheer. So let's try one for fun. Let's do Crush. So this is how the color looks on. So definitely a little bit more pink, um, like strawberry-ish. And um, these are the two colors on the back of my hand. So this one is Crush and this is Zip. So on the back of the hand, you can see the difference a little bit better. Yeah, they're really beautiful colors, very subtle. So I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of these. Anyway, the last thing in the Glossier order was the Cloud Paint in Puff. It is the only one that I was missing, so I have all of the other shades. A lot of you recommended this. You said, if I don't like to wear this alone, first of all, you told me I should try this on my cheeks. And I swatched it in store, and I did like it on the back of my hand, but I just wasn't sure how good it would look on. But a lot of you told me that I had to try it, and if I didn't like it alone, I could mix it in with other shades. So this is how it looks. It's very light. Um, it blends really nicely into the skin. This reminds me a lot of another cream blush that I had from, I think, a Korean brand. I've forgotten what the name is now, but I did like that color. I was just afraid this would look a little too 
pastel on me it has been kind of another quiet ish day so before i end today's vlog i wanted to one do my advent calendar and two show you guys my bullet journal because i do get a lot of questions about the bullet journal and um i've gotten a couple of requests to do like an overview of the bullet journal so i will be doing that probably at the end of the year in a couple of weeks just to show you um all of the, the different spreads that i have but i'll show you my December spread now I haven't quite finished them yet but I thought I would show you guys kind of what I have going on so far and then you guys can see um, how my entire journal looks at the end of the year <laughs> Anyway, so let us open the next day in our advent calendar. So we're at day 12. Oh my gosh, this is a long one. Oh. It is an icicle umbrella. <laughs> I guess it's just an icicle. <gasps> that looks delicious. I will have some. <laughs> I thought you said you were full. Is it solid? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That will be my dinner. I'm gonna have a fudge bar. Okay, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.